Just went to the Needle Galaxy. It's a little bit magnified with the zoom in button over here. Expander 6, no logarithm. Minus 3 brightness, 14 contrast. No change to black or white point. It's pretty cool. I've now zoomed off to M64, the Black Eye Galaxy. And just waiting to see what I get for that. 60 second shots, ISO 800. So Black Eye Galaxy coming up shortly. There it is. Here's the shutter. There's the processing and Astro Toaster. There it is. A little bit of grain. I'll drop the brightness a tad. Just to darken up the background. Not bad. A few hot pixels. Still a fair bit of detail there. Have a look around here. Yeah, M100 is quite close by, we'll go there. There it goes. Change the shot name. Second, I guess so 800. Let's watch that come in. It's a tiny object. M100 is only seven arc minutes. It's got a nice bit of detail there. I could go up in the black point, but the thing is, I want to try and keep this faint fuzzy detail, so it's probably better to keep dropping brightness. So I'll go down one more notch just to see what I can get. Yeah, that'll do. I'll zoom in, show you the actual. Obviously it's getting grainier and grainier as we zoom in. Yeah, you can still see why it's called the Black Eye Galaxy. Zoom out again, zoom out again. Right, that shot's coming in. You can see it being processed up here. Should, have press, should appear shortly, M100. And there it is. And try and raise the brightness of Tad. That's probably good enough. And right next door to it is M99. Very small galaxy, five arc minutes. Go there. Messier 99. Here's another one over here. Matter of fact, Galaxy. 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 They're all over the place in this part of the sky. Anyway, so that was M100. Let's go to M99. Just name the shot so I can pick it up later. I'll show you what I'm doing in a second. Intervalometer. See in this file list. All the shots are getting named so I can muck around with them days later. Just copy this off to another directory. If 
you drag and drop them into this Astro Toaster monitor window, you can re-edit them and do whatever you like with them. Uh, but so far the colour adjustments aren't very much. Oops. Here it is. So shortly we'll see in 99 the Coma Pinwheel Galaxy. Five arc minutes in size. Should be coming up shortly. Here's the shutter. So in the background it'll be processing. And shortly that will appear in front of my eyes. And there it is. And there's a whole bunch of stuff nearby. Matter of fact, we'll go M86 and get the Markarian chain as a whole. So M86. M86 will appear shortly, that which is bang in the heart of the Markarian chain, so we'll see quite a few objects. I don't know them all, but I'm sure uh, you guys can look them up. Sprite on the Newtonian F5 scope. A lot of hot pixels around from my camera. It's been slaving away tonight doing lots of shots. Here's the shutter. See it processing at the top there. Shortly the Mercurian chain. Mind you, I've zoomed in, I'll have to zoom out on this, just realised. And here we go. <laughs> uh, galaxy, oops. Galaxy. 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 One down here, galaxy. And galaxy, galaxy, Let's zoom in. Ah, kind of was zoomed out. Yeah, pretty sweet, eh? Lots of galaxies in that group. Lots of galaxies. Right, oh, no, let's go over and have a look over here. What's that one? Uh, let's have a look here. Oh, the sombrero's up 104. chain for a while and just try and see what some of those were 
M89 I think is the well that'll be M86 I guess that's what I sent it on supposedly yep that'll be M86 lenticular galaxy and next by what's that side on one I wonder that'll be M90 I think that one there, M90, maybe. M89, somewhere at the top. Who knows? Lots of galaxies around there. Anyway, just do the shutter. So any minute now, we'll see the sombrero. There it is. It's not quite centered, but uh, not bad. Drop the brightness a bit more. There we go, it's a nice shot, sombrero. Hmm. Very cool. Yeah, what's over there near Jupiter? Ah, oh, it's a elliptical. What's that one? The antenna galaxies now, they're pretty tiny. Three minutes, I don't think I'll get that very well in this camera. Yeah, still good. What's that one? M83, southern pinwheel. Well, let's give that a go, M83. You see, uh, 83, enter. It's doing a meridian flip. Notice tonight my scope's not particularly well balanced, so I've got to give it a, about 30 seconds rest just to let the teeth mesh on the correct side because the balance is on the wrong side. Slightly out of balance when it does a flip like this. There we go. Wait. Give it about 30 seconds. In the meantime, we'll have a Continuing look at Sombrero. Go and zoom in on it. Yeah, pretty sweet. As we zoom in, the whole image gets brighter again, so I can drop the brightness. Yeah, looks nice. Well, let's go and give it a hit. Uh, M83, start one minute shot. Go back to full screen. Amazing. Big dust line there on the edge. Central core area, stars. And the arms are on the edge there. The dust, dust lanes and outer arms. Sort of perpendicular to us. Hmm. If you're doing a bit of VAA yourself with a DSLR camera, you'll notice these the settings. I've got an Astro Toaster. Everything's default except contrast raise to 14, brightness down to minus 17, saturation at 6, and currently my expander 6. So I have not got logarithmic set, which I normally do. It overblows it like this, I'll show you. See that? Too much stretch. It's better looking like that. Anyway, better zoom out. Here's the shot. I'll zoom out so I can just centre the M83. Should be coming in shortly. And there it is. Zoom in again. And 
again. Yeah, actually, that's probably good enough. Now, yeah, I might just raise the brightness here because I'm not seeing a lot of detail. Here we go. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Look at that. I often see that ShareX, my desktop video capture, makes everything look darker than it is. So I'm going to trace right now. I can see arms right out here. Right out here. Right out across the top. Right around there. It's very bright. I see colour. Reds in the guts here. Blues. Quite a lot of blue all around here. It's quite a nice shot, that. I'll go in big closer just to see. And drop it into the middle. So now it's there, I'll start mucking around with the brightness because it's so big. It looks very bright, so I'll drop brightness one at a time. Three. There we go. It's looking pretty cool. Yep, not bad for a single one minute shot. Immediately seen as EAA. And that'll probably do for this Shurex video. Thanks for watching.